Hello, today we're gonna take a look at Bioware. Not long ago, I had a great talk with uh, Bioware founder Ray Masuka. If you, like me, was curious about if he ever got called Ray Masuka while growing up, you can find out right here. So Ray, did you ever get called Ray Masuka in school? Uh, no, I didn't actually, no. Not that I recall. That would have been kind of cool though. I, I'm not, it, it could have been, yeah, it could have been. So okay, you're one of the really, really top guys of Bioware. How does that feel? It's a great honor to work with all the talented teams at Bioware. I mean, the people at Bioware are really passionate about games as an art form. They take quality really seriously for our fans. So and for me, it's a big honor. How important is it for you to be involved in the games you make? It's really important. I mean, all the people at Bioware take it very seriously to focus on quality. And a big part of that is playing the games that we make and making sure we feel confident that they're as high quality as they can be. So I've been playing a ton of Mass Effect 2 recently and it's it's an amazing experience. Like it, the, the intensity is over the top. I think fans are going to be blown away with the quality. Is that the game you're like mostly excited about this year? I'm excited about all of our games actually. I mean, I mean there's a lot of competitive products that I'm excited about too. I have a big stack of games I'm waiting to play, but uh, right now I'm focused on ME2, but I'm excited about Dragon Age launching in Europe uh, later this week, November 6th on uh, PC and 360 and PS3. I'm excited about Mass Effect 2 on 360 and PC uh, early new year, and I'm excited about Star Wars the Old Republic uh, coming up at an unannounced date, but uh, it's coming soon, so we're we're excited about that as well. Do you feel that this is like the dream job for you since you like maybe were a kid? Uh, you know, I, I'm trained as a medical doctor originally, so I love, I like medicine, but I love video games. So yeah, this is my dream job, I guess you could say. But how did you go from making surgeries and stuff like that to making video games? It, uh, it's kind of a long story, but the long and short of it is we just, we, my, my business partner and I and a third partner actually, we're all medical doctors. And, uh, and one day we said, uh, you know, hey, why, why don't we hire some guys to make some video games and uh, and build some great games and we got lucky and, and invested a lot of time in it got, got lucky to get some get some great people to work with and uh, we really didn't think about it much more than that but uh, I still got my medical license but I don't practice anymore so from the beginning did you know like what kind of games you wanted to make uh, we've always been passionate about games with story and role-playing games which is what Bioware is known for so yeah I think we've always had that goal to try and build games that were emotionally engaging, and that's the vision of Bioware, is to genuine emotional engagement, to really make you feel a connection at an emotional level with, uh, with the players and uh, with the, the characters, you know, like really feeling like there's something to it. So when you're at home, do you sometimes sit down and play the games you play, maybe online, and then whoop somebody's ass and be like, ha ha? Sure, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I guess competitive games, that's part of the fun, right? Is to have the social interaction, and, and uh, if it's a competitive game, well, yeah, you, you want to win, right? Is there a hope or a vision for maybe a next game in the whole Bioware family? You know, pretty much we're building the portfolio that we want to build. I'm excited about every game we have in the portfolio, whether that's Dragon Age, which is more of a spiritual successor to some of the stuff that fans know and love from Bioware's past history, or Mass Effect, which is you know as much a shooter as it is a role-playing game, the sequel to Mass Effect 1. Uh, Star Wars The Old Republic, which is an amazing MMO, story-driven MMO, fully voiced in the Star Wars universe and the universe of Knights of the Old Republic, building with our partners at LucasArts. Um, and then some other stuff as well that we haven't announced yet. And I think they're all different and different, they're all different and unique, and um, that's pretty exciting. I think it's fun to have a portfolio that's, that allows different kinds of fans to, to play our games and, and really access uh, great stories and emotionally engaging moments. Remember to write a comment if you like what you're watching, or subscribe, or like, or do everything because you're that kind of guy or girl or animal.